Now everybody knows that a working VHF radio on board that boat, Hardy, is yes. probably one of the most important parts of your safety inventory, but there are a few things that you need to know about operating that device. That's right, Nick. They can save your life, there's no doubt about that, but like everything on your boat, you need to use them correctly in order for them to be effective. It's a safety requirement that any vessel operating outside sheltered waters must carry a marine radio and with a much better coverage and range than the old 27 meg radios, VHF radios are now the predominant form of communication for Tasmanians taking to the water. The reason VHF is the best radio for Tasmania is because of a network of base and repeater stations that cover almost the entire coastline. It's monitored 24 hours a day by Port Authority or volunteers such as Coast Radio Hobart. All ships, all ships, all ships. This is Coast Radio Hobart, Mariah Island. For the latest coastal waters forecast, please listen now on VHF Channel 69 on the Upper East Coast, 68 on the Lower East Coast and Channel 67 on the South East Coast. Now there are a few things to remember in order to get the most out of your radio. The first is to always leave it switched on and tuned to channel 16. VHF channel 16 is, is the most important channel on, on a VHF radio. That's an internationally recognised distress channel. So with the radio tuned into channel 16, you'll be able to transmit any distress calls that you need. So boats or, or coast radio stations around the state will be able to pick up your call and other boats in the immediate vicinity. When making a call, only use channel 16 as a calling channel. Coast Radio Hobart, Coast Radio Hobart, this is Prestige. Prestige on Channel 16, over. Prestige, Prestige, this is Coast Radio Hobart, Channel 78 please, 78. Once you've established contact with the vessel you are calling, go to working channels 72, 73 or 77. Uh, Prestige, Prestige, this is Coast Radio Hobart, uh, good afternoon. Uh, Coast Radio Hobart, this is Prestige. Uh, position report, we're um, currently five miles southeast of the Iron Pot. Uh, five people on board and proceeding to Port Arthur for the day. Over. Romeo Prestige, we have you five miles southeast of the Iron Pot. Five people on board and you're heading for Port Arthur. You might let us know when you arrive there safely. Coast Radio Hobart, returning to Channel 16 and standing by. Your VHF radio comes into its own when you might need it the most in issuing a Mayday, Pan Pan or Securite call. Mayday, Mayday, we've capsized out off Shooting Island, in between Shooting Island and Little Swamp Port Boat Ramp. This Mayday call was a real one taken from a vessel which sunk off Tasmania's east coast, but it didn't clearly give rescuers the right information. There are seven key things to remember. It, uh, if you're in, ever in the position that you need to issue a Mayday call, it, it is really important to follow those correct steps to say the word Mayday three times and your vessel name and also location and the nature of your emergency so that the correct resources can be deployed into assist in your rescue and also vessels nearby can render assistance if, if they're in a position to do so. Because if you don't, if you make a bad Mayday call, what might happen? If, for example, you're not giving your position in a in a form that's readily recognised, um, the people who are trying to um, raise assistance and send a, the police or, or a helicopter resources, for example, might not know where to send them. And of course, when you are talking on the VHF, remember the airways are for everybody, so some manners are required. It's important that proper radio etiquette is followed and keep your conversations brief and definitely no swearing over the airwaves. Okay, so there you go. Grab yourself one of those brochures and learn the appropriate way to use your VHF radio, Nick. That's exactly right, Andrew. It just may save your life one day. And be sure to keep coming back here to the MAST website to check out all the latest news about boating here in Tasmania.